Hello, welcome to Clickshare.com. Today I'll show you a clever technique on how to set up the offset on x-axis on the bar chart. This is an advanced topic and I'll assume that you have some understanding about how to build the charts in ClickView. I'll follow a four-step process to demonstrate. So let's get started. So we have two different bar charts here and this is my final output and this is the basic bar chart. So let's say that we have a requirement where we wanted to increase the offset of the bar chart and show the value. Uh, for example, on this, the offset is set to 3000. So anything below 3000, I mean the customer count below 3000 should appear below the line and anything above should appear above the line, obviously. So let's say that uh, uh, we have to build an expression. So to get this uh, working, we, we have four step process. So I'll, I'll start the process by building a new chart. So I'll delete this. Okay, and I'll copy this over. And let's look at the expression. So I have my basic ex expression here, count of uh, customer key. So the first step would be to use the bar offset. So I'll set this. And also just to update you, uh, I've already covered the attributes of expressions on a different video. So if you can search for attributes on expression, you will see detailed information about what these attributes are and how they work within ClickView. So I'll not talk more about other attributes, but uh, let me just talk about bar offset. So with bar offset, let's say that we wanted to cut off uh, for 3000. It can be an expression again, but I'll pick up a random value to keep it simple. So this is 3000. Okay, I'll apply it. So now and click on OK. So you see that it's starting from 3000. So let's go back and let's change a few other things. So, okay so once i have my bar offset set to 3000 i have to build an expression and my expression will be interesting so the idea being we have to use the dual function and we'll also use the if statement so we will use the if statement to determine if the value for a specific dimension is falling below 3000 or not so I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if let's uh, count of customer key is less than 3000. So if it's less than 3000, now I'll use the dual function. So I'll talk more about dual function. So dual function, the text representation is again, uh, I'll copy this over to save myself from typing. Okay, so that's the same thing. Okay, so I have this and now for number representation, I'm going to use an inverse value. So if it's below 3000, I'm going to make it a negative value, not the inverse value, I'm sorry. So negative value, so to do that, I'll copy paste this and times minus one. So that's this bit of expression. This bit of expression is only evaluated or calculated only when my dimension is less than 3000. So now if it's greater than 3000, we want to count of this. So let's click on OK. Let's click on OK. So now if you see, this is fine and all these numbers are fine. However, if so it's adding like, it's, it's adding 3000 here. So it's 3000 plus whatever the number, it is 5,356. So we don't want that to happen. We ideally wanted this to show somewhere here, isn't it? So let's go back and let's go back. So here, and subtract this value uh, by 3000. Okay. So it's right now the range, it's falling in the right place, but uh, we are not looking at the right value on the data points. We will deal with that in a minute. 
and let's go ahead and add the reference line so i'll go ahead and add a reference line so on the presentation tab click on add okay and i'll give this 3000 mark and uh, i'll leave the color as black okay so we have the reference line so we have the reference line now and but this number is fine 1581 is fine but these numbers are not right these numbers should be same as these numbers so to get that working we will uh, go ahead and disable the value on data points and add another expression and now we will say count of customer key and here I'll disable the bar and just enable value on data points so this doesn't represent on the chart itself but it only shows the values okay. and I can disable the expression as legend and also disable an expression as legend for this one so now if you look at this, this shows me the right numbers and if it's below 3000, it's showing here, which is fine, which is fair enough. And also the scale itself is falling in the right place. It's a simple four step process and you can use this process to change the offset on the bar chart. I hope this is clear and helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.